So today we're going to look at optical art, which is a fun uh, way of creating works of art using just uh, shapes and color in Klecky. So if you go to Klecky and navigate, you have usually the paintbrush at the top and then the fill tool, uh, looks like a little paint bucket, and then you have the lettering tool, which is what I use to make the words appear on the screen, optical art there. And then at the bottom we have a new one, uh, these shape tools, we have two of them, which are the circle and the square. If you look down below now, uh, below the color square and below, just below the rainbow, you'll see some squares, a circle and a line tool, and then you'll see a solid square and a solid circle. And the piece I made, I'm going to show you how to do that. You want to select your color. Uh, any color is fine and you want to start off with the color and just uh, drag your finger across and make that shape and then select the color again but this time add a little bit of dark black to it and then just keep going down that side and adding more and more black to it until you get almost completely black and then you want to begin filling in these shapes. And so you're going to click over on the fill tool. And now instead of filling the shapes with the color that um, you started with, you want to select a new color and begin changing the colors as you go into the parts that you can fill and just see what happens as you change the colors and uh, do unexpected things with the way everything is changing. So here I just went back and forth uh, and that created an interesting design. Next I'm going to think about the colors on the other squares that I didn't quite get to. And I'm just trying to be consistent picking the same color for each side. And you can see that I made a, a fun little design there. So your assignment is essentially to do something very similar, but I want you to experiment with the different shapes. So you could do this type of work using the circle slash oval tool. And just remember that it depends on how you make the shape each time, whether you stretch it across or down or try to make it a circle. Uh, you can also use the line tool to make some optical things happen, especially if you put them all together in one point. They can seem to radiate out into that space and then if you connect those endings to one another you can make some interesting shapes and then do some interesting fill examples in there that might uh, create an optical or illusion effect. All right, so that's the assignment. Have a lot of fun and see what you can make.